Hi, and welcome back to uh, my playthrough of NHL 94 as the Vancouver Canucks. Now, after sweeping both games against the Winnipeg Jets, we're going to face a much tougher opponent, at least in NHL 94, much tougher opponent in the Chicago Blackhawks, who have the magical uh, Jeremy Roenick on their team. And uh, this will not be pleasant, I think, but anyway... It's anyway we have to we have to play the Blackhawks. It was on the schedule in ninety two ninety three at this point in the schedule for Vancouver. So we continue our road trip to the old Chicago Stadium, featuring the absurdly overpowered Jeremy Rodick. But anyway, we all have a choice, so let's just go. Hi, welcome to Chicago Stadium. Chris Chelios. Oh, Burry's on a hot streak, so actually we might have a chance, but anyway. Oh, look at that. But uh, I think the Blackhawks back then were a better team than us overall. Anyway, uh, so we're going to have to work this through here. Okay. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. They're playing the Blackhawks song in my headphones, but uh, anyway. And here come the running down the ice. Oh, he got knocked down. Anyway, uh, this will probably be a quite a difficult game for us. Murray does have much. Murray is pretty good in this game, but but uh, Jimmy Rooney is ridiculous. He is ridiculous. Like, you can't stop him. So, uh, I think we're probably going to lose this game. <laughs> we have to try. Oh! I tried to aim it, and uh, it just missed. <sighs> See? You can't knock him down. It was absolutely ridiculous. You, can, you, you can't stop him. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, rebound! Saved by Belfort. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Oh, wow. That was a big hit, but uh, they're going to take a penalty. Steve Warmer. A future Ranger, but uh, he was a Blackhawk for the longest time in the 80s and early 90s. And anyway, so we're on a power play, but uh, I don't really see like how we're going to try to hold off uh, Mr. Ronick. Oh, big hit. But if we can get some goals, that would be good. The Blackhawks kind of look a bit like the Colorado Avalanche, actually, rather than the Blackhawks, but that's just the feature of the graphics engine back on the Sega Genesis. The this SNES version had better graphics, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Whatever. This is. They said gameplay wise, this was the better version, so I decided to go for the Sega Genesis version. And uh, our power play is almost over. At least we got a few shots in. Jimmy Ronick is pretty troublesome. I don't see how we can stop him, really. Oh, there he is. Did I have? No. Oh. Oh. Is Greg Adams. Okay. Back up with the uh, Blackhawks here. Goulet. Larmer. Oh, oh. Oh. This was always a tough building for the Canucks to visit in the 90s. We were rare, rarely successful here. So, anyway, I'm only surprised if we lose. There's Cliff running. Running, who's... Oh! And Ronick scores! On the breakaway! <laughs> the Blackhawks forgot to play defense for a second. They let Ronick work straight up the middle. And uh, the Canucks get the first goal, so we have some hope here. There's an Anatoly Semenov. He's been pretty good for me in this uh, Let's Play. Here's a setting pass and a stop by Belfort. So, uh... 
Oh, well, anyway. Okay, let's head back. This is Semenov again. Semenov, the puck gets knocked down. There's a shot by by Momesso, and that's stopped by Belfour. Back out come the Canucks. Greg Adams, centering pass. Okay, uh, is that a Mon No, it's not a Monty. They didn't have a Monty yet. I don't know who it was. Goulet? Michel Goulet? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this is Momesso. Oh, oh, how is that not a penalty? Last minute. Oh, I can't stop him. Okay, uh, this is probably icing. Oh, no, my guy got to it. Greg Adams got to it. Oh, he just was able to dig up the defenseman, but, uh, oh, that's a good shot. That's pretty dangerous. Uh, Sergio Omesso and uh, just run out the clock here. So, actually, uh, we did better than expected. I thought Jeremy Roenick was going to rape us, but uh, actually, it turned out we we're winning here, one nothing. Um, and he, actually, I'm wearing headphones right now, but I could uh, turn the sound back on if you wish. Well, that really matters. Let's see if there's any highlights. <laughs> Oh, here's some highlights. The Dallas Stars and the Islanders. Here's a shot. Set to score! The Islanders take a two-goal lead. <laughs> and here's some more highlights between the Sabres and the Lightning. Oh, number 14 for the Lightning. Bradley scores! Darcy Tucker. Wow, and that's the winning goal. <laughs> Rick Jenneret wouldn't like that one. <laughs> I don't know. That's the so they would have played that game. They didn't have the ice palace yet, so they were playing it in like the some. They were playing it in the biggest stadium in NHL history, but I forgot the name. The Thunderdome, or yeah, the Thunderdome. They sat twenty-seven thousand people in that. It's indoors. Twenty-seven thousand people to watch uh, the Lightning back when they were a novelty in Tampa Bay, so, um, and then, <coughs> sorry, and then the Lightning really sucked for a long time, like, they were terrible, and then they got good, and then they won a Stanley Cup, so, I guess that's the way you get good in the NHL now, you just have to be absolute crap for, like, five years, and then you win the Stanley Cup, <laughs> once you get your young players together, anyway, uh, that's fun. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go back to the game now. Oh, it's the Blackhawks song. Burray. Oh, takes the puck away from Burray. Oh, look. Oh, he shot it wide. Trevor Linden to uh. Burray, don't go behind the net yet. I need him in front of the net to, uh, oh, oh, well, that's, uh, another power play for us. Okay. Well, that's Michelle Goulet. All right. Well, I am not that familiar with the other teams. I was just a kid back then. Anyway, uh, this is Adrian Plavsic for the Canucks up to Trevor Linden. Trying to get something done against Belfort. It doesn't work. Anyway, this is uh, Peter Nedved on the power play. Okay. Oh. Well, taken by Yerky Lume. Couldn't get a shot away. Anyway. Oh. Oh, look. This is Runic. There's uh, Plavsic again. Oh, good save. Anyway, force him to hang on to that. And uh, I'll go right back to work on the power play. Uh, I mean, we're winning, but I mean, the Blackhawks are so dangerous in this game because they have Jeremy Roenick. Anyway, uh, it's totally because uh, it was uh, some kind of inside joke with the developer of this game. 
And, the, and the Jeremy Roenick knew one of the developers and requested that they make him into a super, like a super star in this game. So they made him the best player in the whole game. It's kind of an inside joke, actually. Anyway, oh, how's that not a penalty? He was nowhere near the puck. Anyway. Oh, come on. The goalie, Belfort, interfered with us. Although, that seems like something that Belfort would have done in real life. <laughs> okay, let's concentrate. Yeah, we win the faceoff. Simmons, uh, there's a shot. He scores! Dana Burson! <laughs> From the circles! He uh, slots one past Belfort. Or he slaps one past Belfort, and uh, this crowd is quiet. We're up 2 nothing, but let's not get too cocky, eh? I wish there was a way to make our guys more, um, like, uh, what do you call it, um, what do you call it, collapse around the net. But, uh, oh, the muscle has been pretty good as well. I'm surprised that Dana Burson scored. That's not really what he usually does, but anyway, I'll take it. Here's uh, Semenov, and save! Belfort has it, he'll hang on. Okay, uh, actually we're doing better than expected here. There's a shot wide. Hooray. Hooray! Oh, that's a hard shot, but uh, he kicked it out. Running to Linden. Linden. Here's a different. They score! It's Powell Murray! It's 3 0 Vancouver! <laughs> wow, we're running riot. Oh, I didn't expect that. <clears throat> Maybe I'm getting better at this game. Who knows? I've been playing this a lot more in the past few days, so just filming all these videos. So, uh, yeah, I think maybe that's probably why. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Got lucky there. There's a serving pass that went wide, and the uh, Belfort took the puck back. But it's Burray in! Burray! Can't get the shot away! Here's a, here's a scramble! <laughs> Here comes uh, Marble in! Saved by McLean! Yeah, this game is, uh,. Oh, he had open net and he went wide. Anyway. Oh. That's going to be another face off, but uh, that's good for us. I guess my tap talk for the Canucks really helped here. Oh. There's a. Semenov. Oh, oh, Belfort has it. Seven seconds left. Well, I think uh, we're doing really well. We're probably going to win at this rate. And, uh, shot on. and that will do it for a very good second period for Vancouver. Anyway, uh, we're outplaying them actually, especially later on. See if there's any more highlights. <laughs> Tra Edmonton. Oh, we already saw that. Oh, here's a highlight from Hartford and New York. I guess the Rangers. Yes, Messier to uh, Gardner scores. I think that's oh Amani. Oh, I thought that was Amani. A slap shot from the point. And they're in OT, and uh, the Rangers pass the puck around. Oh, look, here's Sanderson. Oh, they score. It's her beak. <laughs> Brass Bonanza. <laughs> Ooh, Toronto and Ottawa. And uh, here come the Senators. Number 61, Sylvia Turgeon. Oh, look at he scores. They tied it. Unbelievable. And here's the other highlight. See, the Senators can win it. Which will be quite... Oh! The Senators win it, and they were really bad. The Senators were horrible back then. 
So this is a miracle. <laughs> oh, the Devils play against the Jets. Here come the Jets. This is Zhabnov to Salani. Oh, Brodeur can't get to it. Uh, they're behind the net. Trying to come up front and uh, smack come in the last minute. Oh, he went through his legs. Bernie Nichols. A shot from the point. That's a painful way to give up a goal. It's Solani in the score! Team Solani, the rookie sensation, the finish flash, and uh, the Jets win it. A lot of games going to overtime today. Team Solani, he scored 76 goals in his uh, rookie year in 92 93, as I'm trying to assimilate here. I know you can ask me why I'm not playing 93 to 93 94 season, but uh, the rosters in age 94 are actually correct to the 92 93 season, so I decided to play the 92 93 season. And it's a lesser known uh, season for Vancouver fans nowadays, but uh, we did get 101 points back then, which is a lot because uh, we didn't get any loser points. So the Canucks actually learned every one of those uh, 101 points. So that was a very good season for us, and uh, good season for us, and a good game for us here as we're up three nothing against the Blackhawks. Uh, historically, we lost this game. I think by a score of three to one historically, but uh, yeah, we were on the middle of a long road trip, so it couldn't really be helped. Chicago was a tough building to play in back then, so uh, anyway. Chicago is a really good team now again. So again, like same same uh, way that Tampa Bay Cup could. Uh, they had to suck for like four or five years, like really be really terrible, and then they draft all the young guys and they start winning again. And that's that's that. Anyway, enough talk. More ice. Let's go. They always play the Blackhawks song at the faceoff, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the running again. Here's a serving pass. Oh, I knocked the net off. The beret. Doesn't matter. We're up 3 nothing, so we can afford to be a little bit loosey-goosey, but uh, I hope to not give them even a snip. Try to go way wide. Oh, there's a Ronick. To Goulet. Okay. Chelios. Oh, I thought of Winster. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that was a really good long pass to uh, running. Back then, that would have been a two line pass, but I turned off offsides because the AI is not smart enough to play no offsides. Yeah, anyway, so, generally, now, or also be offside on every other play, and that's kind of annoying. Yeah, so uh, here's, a, here's a chance. Saved by Belfort. Oh, wow. Still trying to work our way back up down the ice. Okay, this is uh, an only sell off in. Oh, again, Belfort interferes with the player. <laughs> anyway, the quirks of these old NHL games. They, they, uh, they gave the goalies way too much uh, protection. But anyway, they're also kind of dumb. Oh, oh a mess though. Uh, chance. Oh, look out! See? He should have hung on to that, but anyway, he's dumb. Whatever. We're uh, four minutes in. Oh, four minutes left in this uh, third period. So I, I think we're in pretty good shape. Up 3 nothing on the road. I 
here in this shot that goes all the way behind the net. Here's uh, Greg Adams. Greg Adams. Greg Adams saved by Belfort. Well, uh, the Blackhawks have been a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, now, I know we'll play the Penguins next, so that's always an interesting. That's always pretty difficult back then. Because the Penguins were all. They didn't win the Cup that year, but they were the two times Stanley Cup champions in 91 and 92. So they were a really good hockey team. And they also sucked for a long time. <laughs> they sucked for a long time, and then they got extremely powerful. It happened twice in their history. Once in the 80s and 90s, and once in the 2000s. So they was a franchise that did it twice in a row. 133 left. I think we have this in the bag. We should. Anyway, uh, should be, uh, should. Okay, last minute. Flapstick. There was a chat. Oh, shot it wide. Okay. Anyway, that's okay. Even if we don't score, just don't let them score. Oh, and uh, Kurt McLean gets his second shutout of the season. Cliff running and Burray each get some good goal each, I think. And uh, that's it. We beat the Blackhawks three nothing. Um. We've been doing really well. So that's it for this game against the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, hold on, let me look at some of the some of the stats here. Twenty nine, twenty two, the shots. We didn't get any power play goals, but we did score a goal off a of one timer. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Chinese in Canada saying good night and uh, take care.